finally back in the bathroom, finally finishing up the floor. It only took like, I don't know, a month and a half. First we had failed, so we had to get a warranty claim on it. The second one was the wrong size. I don't know why they sent us the wrong size. Now the third one didn't actually show up. So now the fourth one, hopefully this is the one we want. I did the first initial test, which was taking an ohm reading and finding out the resistance of the heat pad. So basically I've got the heat pad laid out and the original reading was 99.89.7 or, or something like that. I cut it and we are within the nominal range according to the book. So page 12, there's your chart here. So you calculate how long yours is. So ours is 1.5 by 8 feet. And it reads 104, so it's within the specs. So it's 100 right there, and ours is reading 101. One of the, yeah, this, this, this connection right here is actually, so there we go, 99.6, which is exactly what it's supposed to be. Those wires nice and short. Tie them up there to the thermostat and we can turn it on. But first, I need to take a saw and carefully cut out these little black marks that I've got marked here. And those are for the bump right here, which is probably just the weld connection to the heat floor, the heating on the floor. So we just gotta cut a little space out for it to sit so when we put the floor on top, there's not a big bump, bump. And it also says to probably do a little groove, a channel for the wire to sit in. So we'll do that pop a piece, piece of tape on top of that so it doesn't move around. We'll feed the wires up nice up in here and then we'll get the flooring installed and we'll turn this on. So this is actually kind of exciting because we've been waiting like six weeks for this. So follow me along. I'm just gonna do a bunch of sawing and cutting a lot of bunch of loud noises and we'll get back to you in a second. So at first I decided to pull out the plunge oscillating saw and after a little bit I decided that this isn't working as well as I thought it was going to be and I pulled out the Dremel and it worked way better. I was able to clean it up nice and smooth so there was no sharp edges poking up potentially damaging the flooring. The next step was to take the Dremel and create a channel where the wire can fit smooth under the flooring without creating extra bumps as I mentioned before. I didn't mention this before, but the thermostat comes with a sensor. The sensor in the book, according to Quiet Warmth, needs to be one inch away from the black part of the heating element. So I decided to put it at this end of the heating element, one inch away from the actual black part of the heating element, and now I'm going to create a little groove with the Dremel so that it sits nice and flat when I put the flooring over top of it. Once I'm done carefully sanding out my little channel for my wires, I carefully took the sensor, put it in place, and placed tape over top of it. This tape is just any type of flooring tape you'd buy from the store. It's got a little stretch to it. I don't know exactly what it's called. It's just, it just, that's just what I was recommended from Home Depot to use. You'll want to carefully take your time and go through and make sure all your wires aren't crossing over top of each other or creating extra, extra bumps because once you've got everything taped down and the floor installed, you can't go back to fix something in case you miss something during a step. So make sure you uh, 
double check that you've followed all the instructions in the book and that you've watched this video and another video perhaps just to make sure that you're not missing a step get your all your wires together and carefully place them down put your tape over top of it carefully feed the wire through your conduit in the wall and once you've done all that you should pretty well be done okay guys everything's ready to go i've got everything mounted in the floor everything's flush so when i install it there won't be any bumps blah 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 the wires are all nice and tucked away ohm resistant is still 99.6 99.7 which is exactly where we want it. We want it right below, right around 100 for the length of the floor we have. So once we put the floor in, we can actually turn it on and see if it works or whether we just wasted a bunch of money doing it. So we're gonna get uh, my helper to come along, my mom, and we're gonna set up the table saw and we're gonna start installing some floor. So I'm gonna throw you up on a time lapse and we'll see you guys in the next one. So she's done. She's installed. She works. If I had it plugged in for a little while, can't really read that, but it's 66.5 degrees. It was 66.0 when I turned it on. Set it to 74 just to see what it was like, to see how it handled. I can literally feel it on my feet. It is so warm, so comfortable. The only thing that I've noticed so far, but I'm going to leave it on for a little while just to, just to see how it is, that um, you're sitting on a toilet and you're, you know, you're sitting there and you're enjoying life, whatever. I think. There might be a hard line where it's warm and where it's cold. Like where here is warm, here is cold. Warm, cold. So if your heel, if your heel's sitting like that, half your foot's getting warm and half your foot's not getting warm. So that's the only thing I've noticed so far. So I can't wait to actually get the toilet installed to see where your feet actually sit when you're sitting on the toilet because it was a bunch of rules. It has to be five inches away from the wall. It's gotta be five inches away from here. You know, things like that. I think I should have just put it a little closer to the top. Oh well. That's it for today. Heating and the floor are all installed. So now we can go ahead and put the toilet in. We can put the trim in. We can put the closet. Actually, I think I'm gonna wait for the closet door because we're gonna have somebody come in and do the tiling for me because I don't feel like tiling. I wish I could figure out how to tile but all this ledging for a first time tiler I don't think it would be very much fun so we're gonna leave it to the professionals and hopefully they'll be here soon with the toilet installed pretty soon and then when the tiling guys come in they're gonna put a piece of tile on here we're gonna have a tile countertop with a sink tile sink on top, still have to buy a mirror. I'm not sure where we're gonna, which one we're gonna get yet, we'll see. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, peace out. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It did take quite a long time to get this video finished. I appreciate you guys following me along with this bathroom build. If you haven't already, leave a subscribe, comment, like the video, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.